Hello my friends, how are you doing? It is time for some magic again and today I'm gonna show you a super easy way on how to create the Indian summer effect in Affinity Photo. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Also, there has been some controversy where people say this is the devil's art of photo editing. You cannot do it, it's not natural. Well, write in the comments what you think about that, but what I want to point out is I'm just showing you how the software works. What you do with your pictures, that's really up to you. I'm just saying the software can do it. So if you want to do it, just do it. I'm not going to take any sides here. Let's get started with the tutorial. So you can see here, we have of course a picture with beautiful green leaves to start off with. And of course, something to point out here is only take pictures where the leaves actually naturally can turn orange because otherwise it's going to look kind of strange you know not every tree can do that and then we do some easy adjustments so let's delete everything here and first of all I'm going to show you how to do the orange effect but then we're going to do some really amazing adjustments afterwards so it looks even more impressive so please watch the full video okay let's go here to adjustments and then the simple thing to do is you just take selective color and then we want to play around with these channels here so red yellow green cyan and then also a little bit with the neutral so let's start with the red channel i want to push up the cyan here a little bit and then also magenta and yellow it's not doing too much here because we don't have too many red values in here let's go to the yellows there we might see more effect you want to push down the cyan let's remove that completely then push up the cy uh, the magenta a little bit and also the yellow so you can see you can actually if you want you can leave it like that where you say you have just a little bit of orange not completely some green still left in the leaves that's also okay let's go to the greens and make it more extreme so again remove the sign you can see now this is gonna be really nice starting to look really good and you can really play around with these settings and bring them where you want to have them so really push around these sliders and see what they give you. All right, then we have some cyan. You can actually here just go and remove that. You don't have to do much more with the other sliders, although you can still play around with them. And the last thing I want to do is to go to neutrals and you can push here the cyan down and you can see how this makes it nice, it glows and it gives everything this kind of orange touch. Now, some thing I want to point out here is if you look at the feathers of the owl here, these are white right now. If I push the cyan down, you will see that even the feathers get a little bit of this orange touch. Now, in my book, from my perspective, that's okay because the ambient light is shining onto the bird too. And so, of course, the white is going to turn naturally a little bit orange so I find that completely okay so you can leave it like that if you want to but I would add some additional effects to give it a really cool wow effect and this is going to be some dodge and burn with our special trick so not using the dodge and burn tool here we are going to create an extra layer so add pixel layer over here boom like that and then you simply use your brush and double click here on this round color circle for your main color and this will give you this window and I would suggest to leave that open because you want to change these values and again always with dodge and burn everything that is below 50 gray is going to darken the area and everything that's above is going to lighten the area of course we forgot one thing and that is to set our blend mode for this layer to soft light down here so there we go and now we can start and paint in here and the reason I'm doing this you will see this in a second so um, decide on the brush size that you want to have I would reduce the opacity in this case here have set it to 60% you can go even lower I would reduce the hardness in this case I have 25% and what I'm going to do now is to make some areas some leaves here a little bit darker 
So we get a little bit more of a 3D effect in here by making some areas. Also this tree down here we can make that a little bit darker. We can and really play around with it. You see, I'm not making all the shadows darker. I'm just making some areas darker. And this gives it just more like a diversity in the look and makes it just more interesting. Let's also go here. It You can see that it also goes into areas that is not exactly the leaf. I'm not masking out the leaf, but that's not necessary because um, the back, the area in the background um, is going to be lighter anyways, and you're not going to see like any kind of circles here or such. And it's just the leaf that is getting a little bit darker and maybe a little bit of the surrounding, but it's completely okay. So we made these areas a little bit darker. Now let's go here and set this above 50% gray. And you can see the value here, by the way, if you want to see here where it says L for lumos luminosity, if I pull this down, you can see this is below 50 and this is above 50, you know, so that's an easy way to see that. And now I'm just going to go in here and make some areas around our beautiful bird here a little bit brighter. We can also touch up some other areas. And by the way, if you do highlights, this is something I forgot right now, you often want to make your brush a little bit smaller because often highlights are just in like smaller areas. Okay, let's make this area here also a little bit brighter. So the brighter areas, not all of them. This is not why I'm using a curve. I'm just touching this up individually by my taste, by how it feels, but how it looks, you know? So that's the important part here to just bring in some kind of organic, nice light feel. And one thing I want to do in the end, I want to zoom out here, set this darker. I want to make a second layer here again, set it to soft light. So it's the same thing, pixel layer, blend mode, soft light. Now I'm using a bigger brush like so, maybe even a little bit bigger, like so. You know I'm a huge fan of vignettes. So I'm setting this much darker and I'm just painting lightly over these areas here, you see? So I make these areas a little bit darker here, a little bit more up here in the corner. So you can see the corner areas and also here the right side, kind of a round fashion. And the reason for that is, let's close this window here, you can see now that um, this will focus our attention much more on this beautiful feller here. And if I turn on and off these two layers that are our dodge and burn layers, as you can see here, this really makes it a lot more interesting to look at. So that's a pretty nice little effect to have. And these little changes really bring out, they really bring life into the picture. They make it more individual. They are like these little artistic touches. They make it your own work and your own expression, which is also important. If you change your picture like that, this becomes your artistic piece and you want to add these kind of little touches that kind of enhance the thing that you want to show in the picture. For me, I want to focus on the bird with this beautiful light around him. Okay, so that is the tutorial for today. Thank you for watching. Also, maybe join my Facebook group with over 1,800 photo editing artists that you can ask. And also, I have a newsletter you want to check out where you get updates every two weeks about what's going on with my channel and all the other projects I'm doing. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.